Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Constance Sharp coming to you again uh, to talk about uh, what happens to children when women fail to get clean. And if you have questions, uh, please go ahead and type them in. I'd love to hear from you. Um, or you can get a hold of me privately at uh, my name, Constance.Sharf at CliffsideMalibu.com. So what happens to the kids, right? Because we know overwhelmingly that when men have a substance abuse problem, they generally leave the family, except for alcoholics. Very often they'll stay in the family and get cause ruin. But um, nowadays, you know, you really see men who leave the family. Things are very, very different for women. Women with a substance abuse problem will typically um, stay with their children because they love their children. Um, and two things happen. One is the children get abandoned to family, and that's problematic or the woman loses the child to the foster care system. So what happens when a woman gives her child up to the family? Well, it's devastating. First of all, the woman tends to come in and out of family life, and so children don't understand why they don't get to live with their mother. And so they see their mother's decline, and very often they blame it on themselves. And they tend to believe that if they were better children, if they were cleaner or more helpful or just better in their nature, that their mother would get clean and would live with them, which simply isn't the case. We also see that the family comes, becomes exceedingly resentful most of the time because parents have generally raised their families and they don't want another set of very young children and another 15, 18, 20 year commitment coming into the house. So they resent the mother. What that does to the mother who's abusing substances is that she despairs. There's nowhere for her to go, right? She doesn't have hope that her children will come back because she doesn't believe that she can live up to the expectations placed on her by her family. Now, at the same time, we have another situation that very often happens, and that is that children are lost to the foster care system, lost by their mothers to the foster care system. And this is overwhelmingly the case, because most of the time the family either isn't willing or able to take the children on. So this is horrible for the children. The system is overburdened, and it's, you know, it's fine if there's no other place for the children to go, but they're very often not in great homes. Um, they don't have the resources that children in regular homes do. And because the system is skewed toward bringing a family back together, the children are very often unadoptable. The parents don't lose their parental rights right away. And so you have children who are broken up from their siblings and are moved from family to family. They may or may not be in a very caring family. And it becomes very difficult, and the children become warped in their personality development. And it's, it's no good for most of them. At the same time, the woman despairs because she either feels like she can't live up to the expectations to get her children back, or she loses her parental rights and loses access to her children, which means there's no reason any longer for her to get clean. So what do we do with this situation? And you know, my uh, background before I uh, got into addiction research was with the Girl Scouts. So I'm a tremendous advocate for girls and women. And I want to say to you, if you're a woman and you have a substance abuse problem, or you love a woman with a substance abuse problem, or you love the children of a woman with a substance abuse problem, is don't wait for a bottom. You can get help now. It is absolutely untrue that you need to sink to the lowest levels of low before you can get help. We don't wait until cancer progresses, till someone's on death's door before we begin treating it. And we certainly don't need to do that with addiction. So number one, if you know you have a problem, get help now. The second thing that I want to encourage anyone who has a substance abuse problem and is a woman or has children and has a substance abuse problem 
is to use your children as motivation to get clean and stay clean. You know, it's a bunch of malarkey when people say, oh, you have to get sober for yourself. You don't. That is absolutely untrue. You can get sober for your kid. You may not stay sober years and years for them, right? But you can use them as motivation, especially during hard times, when you hit a low point, when you've been triggered, when you want to give up. Those periods are generally very brief. And if you use your children and how much you care about them as motivation, it will carry you through. In fact, women that I've worked with who have used their children as motivation have an extremely good long-term and short-term prognosis. If you have children that you love, please, please get help. Our number is on the screen, or you can call um, any treatment center, but reach out, get help, and uh, if you have any questions, please, by all means, send me a message here on the live chat, or give me a, uh, drop me an email. I would love to hear from you. Best wishes, be well, stay safe.